G'day guys, there's a question that came through from uh, a subscriber. They were doing a project uh, at school where they have to have a tank and they're dropping the level of the tank to different levels. Um, then having another tank um, from this guy with a uh, pump filling up the second tank and then having each of them feed each other. Um, and the question was, uh, how do you get the same push button to bring you different levels in the tank? And I was like, that's an awesome, awesome question. Um, and at first, when I was think thinking about it, I was like, that, that should be fairly simple. And then when I delved into it, I'm like, wow, that's actually quite hard. Um, so it's similar to the assembler. If you've looked at the assembler uh, video before, it's the same push button. And in the, in, this, in the assembler, I'm hitting the same push button and assembling each portion of the, the circuit. So this push button right here will be used time and time again to get to a 25% level. So 25 is... So my level is 300, so 25% will be at 75. Then I'm gonna hit the same push button right here, and I'm gonna to go to 50%, 50% is 150. Hit the same push button again, I'm gonna to go to 75, 75 is gonna be 225. And then hitting the, the same push button again, I'm gonna to go to 100%, 100% being 300. When I get to the top here, there's gonna be a timer that times out for five seconds, then it's gonna drain down all the way to the bottom there. And it's also gonna reset the system so that once it drains, I can hit this push button and then go to 25, 50, 75, and 100 again. So I find that uh, my way of programming is becoming more and more like um, a game of Jenga in that I put certain portions into the program and it screws up other portions. Um, I try to make use of uh, some uh, subroutines here but the prop, like a subroutine for 25, 50, 75, and 100, my problem was that it got hung up in the subroutine so that when I went to go to my 50 or 75, it was stuck on the previous uh, subroutine. So I definitely need some, some work to understand subroutines a little bit more. All right, let's take a look at uh, what I've got so far. So I've got a stop and a start push button. I've got a memory bit right here. So percent M0.0, that's my system run. I got a holding contact to keep that bad boy on. And I've got a reset instruction right here, percent %m1.3. At the bottom of the program, I'm gonna reset this system run, which resets everything in the program and allows me to then go uh, back again to 25, 50, 75, and 100. The way that I'm making use of the same push button, and I'm interested to see if you guys have a better way of doing this, um, is every time that I hit this push button, in this case, as long as I'm in the system run, that is gonna send a positive trigger to this guy right here. So by hitting the start push button, that's gonna send a signal to my positive trigger. The positive trigger makes use of a memory bit here. So when you're making use of this guy, you have to, put, you have to assign a memory bit to hold the value there. Um, and this guy is sending a one shot to this percent M1.1. So every time that I hit the start push button, it's gonna do a one shot uh, output to percent m1.1 I'm going to make use of that one shot throughout my program so every time I want to increment up to the next level be it 25 50 75 or 100 that same push button will be able to do that for me okay um, if I am not in the system run then I need to send a value of zero to my fill valve so up here I have a fill valve it's a proportional valve from zero to ten so when I'm not making use of it I'm sending a signal of zero volts to that guy Okay, so hopefully that's uh, that's all clear. Um, let's hit the uh, the start push button here, and you'll see that this kicks in, and I'll scroll down to um, the the lower portion of the the program there. So we'll hit this start push button, and it should start to increment up to twenty five percent. Okay, so that is now clicked in my system run. Uh, it was hard to see that one shot, but that one shot did come in. Let's scroll down to the 25% level here. And so once I get to 75, it should stop there. Beautiful. A little bit of a lag of my uh, computer here. There we go. So uh, that one shot came in and sent a signal to this guy, percent %m0.1. And that was my memory bit to say I want to go to 25% fill. I have a holding contact here as well. And as long as that M0.1 is true, then it says um, 
send us a value of seven and a half. So I'm, I'm not doing the full uh, 10 volts to this, this fill valve. I found that the, ten, the full 10 volts uh, was too much and there was too much distortion on the top of the tank um, or the top of the water level to, for it to kind of set at a nice value here. So I've put it at 75% of that value. And I said, as long as you, um, it's below 2.3, and you're like, well, that's strange. Why didn't he do 2.5? Well, whenever I turn off this valve, there's still some water that still comes down to the, the top of the, the level here. So I'm having to turn it off a little bit, a little bit earlier at um, 23% so that it kind of subsides at 25%. Okay, hopefully that, that, hopefully that makes sense. So, um, and then I said, if it's greater than or equal to that value, then send a value of zero to the fill valve. Okay, so if it hasn't reached that value, send a value of 75% to the fill valve and slowly fill the tank. Once it gets to that level, uh, at 23%, then shut her down. That water that's still coming down from the top here comes down and then whoosh, brings me right up to the value that I'm looking for. So you'll, I had to play with these values um, in order to get it to sit right at 75. Okay, once I'm at uh, 25%, then I'm saying another memory bit, percent %m0.2, to confirm that I've actually gotten to that 25%. Okay, let's scroll down to uh, the next one at 50%. So it's the same instruction all the way through. Okay, so if we look at the 50% the now, just waiting for my computer to come in here. Okay, there it is. So my system run is true. Uh, I am at the 25% now, so I'm now going to hit that start push button again. I'm going to send that one shot through. That's going to turn on this memory bit, percent %m0.3, that's my 50% fill and I have a holding contact across both the 25% confirmed and the start one shot, because this guy's only going to be there for uh, a brief millisecond. Okay, once that's true, then this will be true. And again, I chose a value of 4.8. I, I had to fudge these numbers here to get right up to 150 uh, in the tank or 50% in the tank. Again, sending the same value, 75% to the fill. And then when I get to that value, then I'm sending a value of zero to the uh, the fill valve, okay? Once I get to 50%, then you'll see that I have this instruction here uh, to kick out that move value. Okay, so we'll hit that push button again and hopefully it should go right to 150, which is right here. Okay, you can see, you can see this value going up once it gets to the 4.8, then a value of zero will be sent to this fill valve, and we should see this close. There it goes. And then it stops right at 150 or 50%. Beauty. Okay, let's move down to the 75%. So this is basically a carbon copy of what we, uh, what we just did. Okay, again, hitting the 75%. Again, it's just waiting for the one shot to come through. There's that one shot. Now my 75% fill instruction is coming through at percent %m0.5. That's starting this portion of the circuit. And once I get to this value, 7.26, it's going to confirm that I'm at 75%, which is 225 in the tank, and I'm good to go. That sets up the next portion of the circuit. So if I go down to the next portion of the circuit, and again, you can download this PDF in the comments section. There will be a link to this PDF so you can print it out and have a look at it. Okay, so let's go to this guy here. Let's hit the push button one more time. And when we get to the top, um, it will confirm that we're at 100% and I'll scroll down here and we'll see this timer as well. Okay, there's that one shot again. Now I'm going to 100%. Let me scroll down so we can see the, the timer portion as well. Coming up to 100% in the tank, or 300. And when I get there, 
that I've got this timer that now times out for five seconds. When it's finished timing out for five seconds, then it's going to send a value of 10 volts to the discharge valve. So this guy is wide open now. We're draining the tank. And there's that reset instruction. So at the top of the, of the um, system run, I now reset my system run. So all of these guys are ready to rock and roll again when I get down to the, the bottom here. And the last portion of the, the circuit here is that when it gets down below uh, 0.15, then I'm going, to I'm going to move a value of zero to the discharge valve and we'll see that this guy closes. So no indicator lights or anything like that, just trying to get this to work. So this is no longer true, right? But it sent the value of 10 to uh, my QD104 for my discharge valve. So that value is still there until I get to this range right here below uh, 0.15 and then it'll send a value of zero to the discharge valve. So we'll see very soon that this guy will change state. Okay, 0 0.2624. Oh, she's close. There we go. Okay, so you can see here that I had to put a value of 0.15 because once it gets to this water level, uh, it doesn't really drain out um, it, or it just takes forever to drain out. So now the value of zeros to the discharge valve. So this has closed now. And if we scroll up to the top of the program now, I had reset the uh, the circuit there, so my reset had set up when that this was true. So this was no the the, re, the M1.3 was a one, so this was no longer true, which kicked out my system run. So hopefully, if I hit this push button one more time, I should now be able to go up to 25, then 50, then 75 again. So it the program should recycle all the way through. Beautiful. So going up to 25%. Nice. Going up to Seventy-five. Beauty. And once it gets up to 100%, it should count down for five seconds and then drain all the way out. There's that discharge, the fill valve closing up. And the timer is now counted down, and now the discharge valve is wide open, and we're going to drain this guy all the way down to the bottom. And once it gets down to the bottom, we'll find that this valve closes up again. So hopefully this helps you guys uh, out. Uh, if you have better ways of doing this, then please uh, share them. I know a number of people have asked uh, other questions on previous videos. I'm trying to get to uh, those answers. And hopefully I'll start to understand the subroutines a little bit better um, so I don't get hung up on them.
Beauty, almost getting to the bottom here. If you haven't seen these two uh, programs before, this is the Siemens TIA portal, and this one is the Factor IO simulation program. Beautiful, and you can see that that valve just closed there when we got to the bottom. And again, we can just start this cycle right again. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, video. Hopefully this has helped you out uh, a little bit. And uh, if you have better ways of doing that, then please uh, share it with myself and others in the comment section below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.